Troy over the course of an 82 game season sometimes those little lulls happen especially coming off a, a murderer's row week uh, the week you had last week yeah we had a real tough week the week before and I thought we handled, handled ourselves great uh, getting six points and uh, against some really big uh, big teams big opponents so um, you know coming into the the Calgary game we had a little bit of a letdown but uh, we're looking to put that behind us uh, Hitch told us uh, he's gonna treat it as a write-off game you're gonna have one of those once in a while and uh, we're just getting for or looking to, to get back to uh, having a good game tonight you're tied right now for the division lead, the conference league. Look, you've been in all sorts of seating and you've had all sorts of results in the playoffs. How important is the division title? How much stock do you put in the number one overall seed? Um, it, it can be very important. Getting that home ice, uh, getting that extra game seven is, is very important. The last uh, eight playoff series that I've played have all gone to game seven. So that uh, that home ice, sleeping in your own bed, having your own meal, uh, you can put a lot of value on that. And, and that's something that we're definitely striving towards. Having said that, I'd play devil's advocate and said, <laughs> you're actually slightly better on the road this year than home. So does it really matter for this team in particular? Um, you know, I guess if you look at it like that, then uh, not necessarily. We have the confidence that we can go out on the road and win hockey games, but I'd still way rather uh, have those first couple games at home and, and potential game seven. What tells you whether you've got it or not in this room? You've been part of a championship in Chicago. You also been part of a very team similar to St. Louis, a team that hadn't quite gotten over the hump in Washington and didn't when you were there. Mm -hmm. Where's this team at mentally in terms of getting over that hump? I think we're in a good spot. Uh, you know, we've only had a couple guys from previous years that have lost in the first couple rounds, and so uh, got a lot of fresh faces, got a lot of guys that are very hungry, very anxious to prove them, prove themselves within this team, and then the older guys as well that have been here for a little while. They they want to prove themselves to to show that they're playoff players, and uh, we have the ability. We have we definitely have the team. Uh, we just got to have the mindset and the confidence going into the playoffs to know that we're a good enough team to keep pushing yourselves into the next round. Speaking of mindset, as you mentioned, Calgary's a write-off. Give me your thoughts on Edmonton tonight, a team that can hurt you with skill mm -hmm. if you allow them time and space. Uh, you know, they're, they're a wide-open team. They have a, a lot of skill, especially up front, uh, a lot of great names, a lot of great players, and, and we have to play a good structured game. Uh, it's something we got away from in, in Calgary, thinking we could play that wide-open game, and we got burned on it. So tonight, uh, you know, we're going to have to lock it down, play the way we want to play, and, and dictate the pace of play. Troy Brower of the St. Louis Blues, he was brought here for one reason, and to get that team over the next hump into the Stanley Cup Final. We'll have it for you. Blues, Oilers, tonight at 730.